Hey guys, what's going on? It's Forvex here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the Orion client. Now, the Orion client is just this, uh, it's this cool little client you can play old school RuneScape with. I don't think they have it for RS3, because you really don't need it for RS3, there's really no reason. It's specifically made for, um, old school RuneScape, and it was designed by some mod in, um, the RS Buddy forums, or it's in the RS Buddy forums, but it's designed by an R uh, RS Buddy mod dude. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go download it. I think you guys, all you gotta do is just click it, download it, and then extract it through, um, like a, a like a WinRAR or something. You just gotta extract the file because it's in a zipped file. I think I'm not sure. That's what I did, and it works fine. So what you got is you got compact mode, and then you got um, this mode. This isn't. This is compact mode. It's just a RuneScape screen, but that's no fun. We're gonna leave it into the regular widescreen mode. And I'll show you guys all this d different stuff. You got different themes here. You got a whole bunch of different themes. I'm in Emerald Dusk right now, which is kind of cool. But um, I'll change it to Mariner. Uh, it's kind of I don't like that one. Let's change it to um, Raven. Okay, Raven's kind of cool. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of different themes you can change, um, and those aren't you know it's not a big deal. So you got your overlays here, and I'll show you guys this in a second. But I want to show you this side first. So this side is your um, kind of just the three little tabs that you need to be, uh, to uh, play with. I mean, there's really nothing else you really need other than these two little tabs. Obviously, they can add other miscellaneous tabs for random stuff like notes and whatnot, make it like SwiftKit. So this right here, this is pretty cool. I like this tab a lot because this allows you to check the prices on certain items via Zybez without actually having to open a tab and go to Zybez. So if I wanted to look up the price for, I don't know... Um, uh, rune boots. I uh, tend to look at these this price a lot. So you type in rune boots and click enter. So the average price is 347k, and there's 50 offers so far. You click on that, and you can see what people are trying to buy them for: 380k, 360k, 370k. You know, there's a whole bunch of different offers in here. It's pretty cool. You can uh, add this person, and you can you know do whatever you do on Zybez, try to buy them or sell them or whatever. And I just bought iron knives doing this, which is pretty nice. Um. And then you got this. This is kind of like the little XP counter. This shows you how much experience you're getting per hour right here. And this is kind of the the experience that you're getting, I think. And then this is your overall experience. And then it tells you kind of um, the percentage of how close you are to getting your next level. So uh, each time you use another skill, uh, it will add it up in here. So I've been training range and HP and magic. So... Those are the three skills that I've been training, Those and that kind of shows me what I've been doing. Uh, you can disable it if you want to. I, I like to have it enabled, though. It, it uh, It's nice. So right here, um, this really only works when you're logged in. I mean, obviously, you can do it for your account, but when you're logged in, it keeps it updates itself all the time, depending on who you're standing next to. Like, within your little radius, there's a bunch of people standing around, and uh, it'll have all those names listed here, and I'll show it to you guys in a little bit when I go to do, well, I don't know if I actually use it, but pretty much what you do is you just, you can't really type in a person's name, I don't think, no, but it'll have a whole list of names, and this is really good for PKing, so you can actually look up someone on the high scores really easily, if you, and it makes it easier so you don't have to type in their name letter by letter, because some of those names can just be a bitch and a half to type in. And you gotta change it because the I's and the L's and the O's and the... Oh, man, it's just a bitch. But it'll already have it listed on here when you click this drop-down arrow. And you can find the name, and then you could hit enter, and it'll pop them up with all their stats and their combat level down here, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. That's really nice. Um, so now you get your overlays. You got your hit predi predictor, your minimap orbs, and your special attack... Or, yeah, special attack thing. So I'm gonna log in here, and I'll show you guys what those are. Shit. <laughs> Maybe you can look people up right here. I don't know. No, it's not let me. Alright, so right here, I've just been training range here. It tells you your energy, and it slowly kind of goes up. And it tells you your prayer level, and it tells you your HP level. Now, I'll show you guys this in action here in a second. Alright, so here's my special attack uh, thing. 
and when I use it, boom, it automatically goes down to zero because I used the whole spec. And it kind of tells you how it regenerates. It'll regenerate by 10% every minute, and it'll have it right here, which is really cool. I like that, and it, it could really be an asset for people when they're trying to PK. Now, you got your hit predictor over here on the side. Now, I'll show you guys a little clip of me PKing with this. Um, it really helps with your switches, especially in free-to-play. It kind of predicts what your next hit will be. See, I hit a three. There's one, one, six, six. Sometimes it's not completely accurate. Like, it'll say 11, and you actually hit a 10. Like, it, it said eight. Oh. Okay, never mind. It did hit an eight. But sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it is kind of... See, it said 11 there. I hit a 10. It's not completely accurate, but it's still semi-accurate within one to two hits. Which is good. And see how oh, my HP is dropping as I'm getting hit on. I don't have to go back to my stat bar and check it all the time. Which is always good. And I don't have to go back to my special um, or my combat bar or my combat tab and uh, check to see if my special attack is um, available or not because it's right here. Which is awesome. And your run energy is right there as well. And if you're using prayer, like if you're getting smited out, you can see when you need to drink a prayer dose or not. And I might actually use this for when I go ne to uh, Jad because it'll make it, it'll make getting your fire cape and killing Jad a lot easier knowing when to drink your uh, superstore or prayer pot because you don't have to go back and check it um, through your tabs because it'll just take a bunch of extra clicks and it's a pain in the pain in the ass. But this is the Orion client. It's not a bot. It's just a little client that offers a few overlays and a few extra tabs for um, for help. So, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to it. It's pretty simple. It gives you the screenshot option. It'll take a screenshot for you. But uh, I, don't, I don't use that. I don't need to take a screenshot. But it is pretty cool. Um, I really like it. I've been, I'm going to start using it more. I'm probably not going to use it to PK with because I think people will think that I have a, a slight advantage over other PKers because it does kind of give you that uh, prediction hit because if I go to hit a 23, I can comp I can switch over to the Rune Battle X really quickly and, and KO them real quick before they have time to eat. And um, it can really kind of give you... It's kind of like the XP drop uh, in pre pre EOC you get that XP drop and you know exactly when to switch so that's kind of what it is if you wanted to kind of relate it with some familiar uh, gameplay but um, I'm gonna cut uh, this was just a little commentary to show you guys what it is I'm gonna cut over into a free to play PK clip and I'll kind of show you guys what and how it works in PK hey guys so um in this clip, I'm just going to be showing you I'm fighting this low level because it's it shows the hits easier and shows me comboing a lot easier in this. And as you can see, um, the hit predictor is not working completely. I mean, it does work. See, it says 11. I hit a 10 there. 22. I hit a 20. I mean, it it's only within a few points off. I mean, it's not completely off, but... When it says I'm about to hit a 28 with rune scam, I know that's wrong because I can only hit 25s. And uh, but I mean it's it, it still works fine. I mean you can still combo pretty hard as you can see. I'm comboing like a beast on this guy. He's only got one defense though. I don't know why I fought him. There's nobody else in the wilderness to fight, so he wanted to fight. And uh, but as you can see, you know I'm monitoring my prayer, watching my HP, and uh, he doesn't come anywhere near killing me because he's such a low level. And he's only got like 40 attack or something like that. But, I mean, you can tell by the hit predictor. And it would make members PKing uh, a lot easier because you could see your spec bar and your prayer. And you, you don't have to worry about your prayer. Or you have to worry about your prayer more than you do in free to play. But... Um, I mean that hit predictor really does help. It really does help for free to play. I, I would think more than it does members because uh, in free to play it's a lot about the switches. You know, once you get that switch, then it's game over. But he's pretty much out of food, and I think, yeah, I killed him. That nice little, nice little risk. But that was about it for free to play PKing. I wasn't that big. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys how it worked in PK. So that's it. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that they did update Orion while I was doing, while I was trying to make this video uh, about Orion or Orion or however you pronounce it. Um, but apparently they updated it to where 
Um, you can change your default world. Before, it was just when you went to view, it was compact mode and then your theme, uh, like your background. But now it's got compact mode and settings. So if you click on settings, hold on, let me change spots here. This is going to log me out from not playing. But I'll show you this in a minute, what this is. And it's pretty interesting. It's pretty, uh, it's a good update. No, fuck, I did that wrong. Oh, well. Can the spiders attack me? Or do I have to go all the way up? Okay, they will attack me. So, here we go. So the view, settings. And now you can change your default world to whatever world you want. I have it on 67 because 67 is my home world. You can change your theme right here. Um, I like Graphite Aqua. I checked all the um, the themes out, and there are a few decent ones, but I like Graphite Aqua the best. Um, then screenshot, you can have it screenshot the entire client, or if you uncheck it, it'll screenshot your entire window, which isn't, I don't know, it's not that great. I would much rather have it just screenshot the RuneScape client. Which is what it's saying, and uh, yeah, I think I think that's it for like updates and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I thought this um, I thought this client was pretty useful. I thought it was um, it's very useful for like bossing and whatnot. I don't think RuneScape players will frown upon it that much. Uh, they might because it does kind of um, bring the newer kind of style of RuneScape back to the older style, but not so much like. The older style had that little Slayer bubble there. Not Slayer. Summoning. Summoning bubble. And so it's just kind of giving you your, your run energy, your prayer, your health, and your your special. And all of it, for the most part, is pretty accurate, to be honest. Everything except for the hit predictor, which is kind of relating to the XP drop from um, pre-EOC. It's, it's all pretty good. And... Um, the XP drop or the the hit predictor is is good for PKing. I wouldn't say it's great for bossing. I mean, you could use it for bossing, but it's not like you're gonna need it for anything. The really only reason why I used what I used hit predictor for is to um, accurately, more accurately get better switches. So that's the only thing that I used it for. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, there's really not much else. I'm definitely using this when I go to get my fire cape. I have died twice trying to get my fire cape. I made it. You know, I tr I got so far and I died and I was just stupid. But this is gonna. Re I, I believe this is gonna help me so much because I can monitor my prayer and my HP without having to click through my tabs, and it'll just make it so much easier for me to do bossing and uh, other PKing and other things on RuneScape. And I really like this client, and um, I hope you guys too. I will leave a little link in the description for you guys to download it and you guys to enjoy it. I'm not going to like hold it against you guys, but there are a few other videos. I'm sure you've seen Badoofed and uh, Sorex will recommend a vid video about the uh, the client, kind of giving a rough uh, kind of brief description of what it was. And um, I don't want to like copy them because I started making this video right before Sorex posted his video and uh, right after Badoofed. And, um, you know, I got to give props to them. They probably get more views than I or they do get more views than I do so I really don't care I'm just I'm just out here to kind of spread my my word to a new audience that probably hasn't seen it on on their channels so react and produce channels so uh, there'll probably be other videos about it I don't really care I'm just gonna make mine and um, I'll let you guys know if there are other runescape clients that you guys want me to make I will do that you just leave them down in the comments below and uh, I'll make sure I check it out and I look it up and um, I'll give you guys my kind of um, what I thought about it and uh, but if you do like these videos make sure you leave a like don't forget to subscribe and comment in the comment sections down below what you guys liked about it and um, what other new clients you want me to do. So with that, I'm going to end it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.